Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Fat Hipster Channel and my name is John. And today we will be doing part three, which is the final part of a three-part set of Craft Boost. And this one is pizza flavored macaroni and cheese boost. Buffalo, ranch, now pizza. And I've completed the trifecta of all of the American flavor boosts. <clears throat> so this may be the only YouTube channel where you can find out which of the Canadian and American craft flavor boosts are the best, because I've now tried all of them. So this one is pizza. I forgot to do macaroni noises for the last one, so. There you go. As you can see, it is, uh, it's got a little bit of red in it to make it, give it an orangish color and uh, not only red uh, orange uh, red all over but also there's some more darker red specks in it which may or may not be visible in this camera anyway it smells really good let's go ahead and taste it I like how the picture is like there's a little slice of pizza hanging off the end of a spoon of macaroni. Is the pizza a tiny pizza the shape of a spoon? Or is it a large spoon that's so big that it's the same size as a slice of pizza? One life's mysteries. You get a really um, cooked tomato flavor. Mm -hmm. You have like a, a that like dark tomato paste, but sometimes you uh, even like brown up even more in, the, in like a skillet or something when you're making a a tomato based roux. That's what you get here. Really deep, dark red tomato. And then also you get like classic oregano, basil -y type spice flavors. The ingredients mentioned tomato powder, onion powder, cheddar cheese, garlic powder, spices, natural flavoring, including celery seed, citric acid, paprika, onato. So within those spices, it's probably more classic tie-in. You know there's no mozzarella cheese flavors added to that, just cheddar. From the first bite I had this, to every subsequent bite that I've taken, only one flavor thought has been constantly crossing my mind as a one-to-one -one comparison when it comes to flavor. And that flavor is Combo's Pizzeria Pretzel Snacks. Which consequently is one of my all-time favorite crunchy snacks. When he's categorized like chips and crackers and pretzels and all those things combos pizzeria flavor could very well be my number one and with that being said and saying that this is a one-to-one -one taste comparison mm -hmm. 
all this is missing is like a crunchy pretzel aspect of it. And it would have been a combos pizzeria flavored macaroni. Well, the last half is one for last because out of everything I've had, Canadian and American, this one is clearly the best. I think I have the eyelash ball for this one. For the American version, pizza number one, ranch number two, buffalo number three. Though all three of them I found enjoyable, that was the order. And the pizza one is far and above the other two. I believe for my Canadian ones, I said, I eventually came to the conclusion that poutine was my favorite. Just because it has this really unique, rich umami that was going on to it. It took me a while to get there because it had a weird beginning flavor. But once, like, the the aftertaste like almost took over, then every bite after that increased that part of the flavor, not that initial bite flavor. I forget how the other ones went. You'll have to watch my videos to see. Well, this one's delicious. It has the all the flavors of that filling inside of a, a combo's pizzeria snack. Like you can take a combo's pizzeria, remove all the filling from the center, and put this macaroni and cheese in the middle. And it would taste like the same thing except macaroni. Anyway, I can keep eating this, and I will. But, that's going to be the end of the video. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Flavor Boost Pizza Flavor. Two thumbs up. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend if you try any of the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Boosters. Try the pizza one. It's my favorite. It might be yours as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video. Bye.